Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selam ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allamteni ve allimni bima yenfa'ni ve zidni ilman enneke l'alimul hakim. My topic today is about in large details the common causes and less common causes and rare causes with some examples and the clues for the differential diagnosis. Essential diagnostic feature in large uterus without focal mass lesion seen can be due to diffuse adenomyosis or postpartum uterus or endometrial cancer. Enlarged uterus with focal mass lesion may be multiple around well-defined masses like in intramural leiomyomas or can be single ill-defined mass like focal adenomyosis or endometrial cancer. A fluid in the endometrial cavity causing uterine enlargement can be due to cervical stenosis or cervical cancer. Lesion centered in the cervix can be due to cervical leiomyoma or cervical cancer. MRI can differentiate various etiologies of a large uterus. The common causes of a large uterus include leiomyoma, adenomyosis, postpartum, normal postpartum, or due to infection like endometriitis. Clues for the common causes, leiomyoma, Focal, well-defined masses, lobulated external contour of the uterus, MRI is diagnostic, well-defined T2 hypointense masses. As we see here, CT scan, axial contrast enhancement, we see multiple masses involving the uterus here, there, there, and here. And these are intramural, as in this here, this here, and in the submucosal in this uterine mass. And these masses cause this enlarged uterus due to leiomyoma. This is the same patient in coronal cuts. This is the submucosal fibroid and intramural fibroid, and that fibroid is with punctate calcification. And the contour of the uterus is lobulated due to due to these masses. In cases of adenomyosis and endometrial cancer, uterine enlargement there is a uterine enlargement, but the uterine contour is smooth. Here, this is the leiomyoma, multiple leiomyomas in T2 fat set uh, oblique coronal image, axial, sorry, image, shows enlargement of the uterus and distortion of the endometrial stripe by defined masses hypointense in T2, these are uh, intramural and subserosal and subserosal masses. And these are uh, leiomyomas prior to treatment. 
the same patient with uh, multiple high point tense masses uh, with causing distortion of the endometrial cavity. Ultrasound, longitudinal transabdominal ultrasound shows a large uterus about 20 centimeter with multiple masses with someone, one of them is with calcification. Even like calcification due to degenerating lyomyomas. And here, another uterine lyomyosarcoma uh, with the transabdominal ultrasound, hypocort masses, hypocort areas due to necrosis in the mass. Adenomyosis, it is asymmetric myometrial thickening, cystic spaces in the endometrium, alternating bands of increased through transmission and shadowing. Uterus may be tender during examination. MRI is diagnostic. Thickened junctional zone more than 12 millimeter, T1 and T2 hyper intense foci. Here we see adenomyosis, coronal oblique, T2 fat uh, fast skin echo uh, with uh, enlargement of the uterus with focal uh, with focal hypo intense thickening of the posterior junctional zone and for of ink of uh, uh, high intense T2. Adenomyomas are typically contagious with the junctional zone and may have functional endometrial glands. Uh, this is the same patient with the MRI Adenomyosis, adenomyosis, transcervical, transverse, transvaginal ultrasound shows a large uterus with asymmetric thickening of the posterior wall, alternating echogenic and hypocort striation emanating from the junctional zone. And also endometrial, normal endometrial echoes complex noted. Here another patient with adenomyosis, a sagittal T2 fat spin echo with enlargement of uterus with diffuse thickening of the junctional zone. Hyper intense foci or in the thickened junctional zone are typical of adenomyosis. And this is and this will represent endometrial glands. The external contour of the uterus is, is smooth, not like in lyomyomas. Here this patient with endometritis Longitudinal transabdominal ultrasound shows enlarged uterus with the fluid in the and shaggy irregular appearance of endometrial endometrium anteriorly here. This is the endometritis sagittal contrast enhanced uh, CT scan with enlarged uterus postpartum with fever with a gas noted in the endometrial cavity. Less common causes endometrial cancer. Typically, postmenopausal women with the bleeding. 
diffuse uterine enlargement ill defined endometrium. As we see here, surgical CT scan, contrast enhanced CT scan shows a large uterus with ill defined hypo density. The over all shape of the uterus is preserved with the smooth external contour. And this is due to endometrial cancer. And this is the coronal CT after enhancement. This is the mass eyeball dense with more or less like the uh, ex normal external contour with ill-defined hypodensity mass in its center, resulting in enlargement of the uterus biopsy confirmed endometrial cancer. And this is the ovary, and this is the ovary here. Rare but important causes, uterine leiomyosarcoma, cervical lesion, like cervical cancer, cervical stenosis, cervical leiomyoma. Clues for rare causes, cervical lesion, um, MRI-based modality for visualization and differentiation of cervical abnormalities. Cervical cancer, ultrasound, hypoquick, ill-defined lesion, MRI, T2, hyperintense cervical mass, plus minus hydronephrosis, plus minus fluid in the endometrial cavity. Here is patient surgical CT scan with cervical cancer, non-contrast enhanced CT scan, you see a large uterus and their suggestion of hypodense distension of the uterine cavity with thinning of the surrounding, uh, surrounding myometrium. And this is the same patient with surgical T2, fat, fat spinnacle, as we see here, mass in the cervical region extended to into uterine cavity with distension of the endometrial cavity with the fluid the fluid distension and thinning of the myometrium and biopsy confirm adenocarcinoma. Uh, here, this is uh, long axis transabdominal ultrasound, large regular hypochloric mass lesion in the cervix and the mass invading the urinary bladder in this area. Cervical myoma on ultrasound, it is a well defined shadowing, well defined or shadowing hypochloric lesion. MRI will define T2 hypointense mass. Typically, will not obstruct the endometrial, endocervical canal. Here we see a patient with cervical leiomyoma on surgical non enhanced CT scan. with homogeneous density and the smooth external margin. Cervical leiomyoma with the trans longitudinal transvaginal ultrasound of the same patient show will define homogeneous hypochloric mass lesion in the cervix and uh, <coughs> uterine body and uh, uterine body has lack of distension of the uterine cavity. Cervical stenosis, no identifi identifiable mass lesion, a fluid distension of endometrial cavity seen, the thin surrounding endometrium and history of cortege or childhood. Of cortege 
or childbearing. Here, <laughs> longitudinal transvaginal ultrasound in woman, in woman after endometrial ablation shows endometrial cavity filled with uh, complex fluid with some echogenic debris. The surrounding uh, endometrium is thinned. Thank you for listening. Hoping to see you soon in the in another talk.